Unison is an exclusive analog digital integration system that's built into every Apollo mic preamp. It provides true bi-directional hardware software control between UAD preamp plugins and the physical mic preamps in Apollo to faithfully emulate the world's most renowned preamps. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Unison preamp plugins with your Apollo, letting you bring new tone and color to your tracks. In this example, I'm using the UA610B tube preamp plugin and a DPA4099 microphone to record some acoustic guitar. But Unison plugins are great on vocals, bass, drums, or any other source where you want to add some color. First, let's plug the mic in. With the Apollo console app open, make sure the input gain is turned all the way down and connect your mic to Channel 1's input on the back of Apollo. If you're using a condenser mic, turn on the phantom power next. Now, insert the Unison preamp into the dedicated preamp insert slot. This slot is different from the channel inserts in that only Unison preamp plugins can be inserted and they are always in circuit. That means you're always recording with them, regardless of the console's insert effects switch. In this example, I'm using the UA610B. You'll instantly notice a few things. The Apollo's LED ring changed to orange along with the level ring in the console. This tells you that the Apollo is now controlling the input gain along with other controls on the 610. You'll also notice a soft mechanical click from the interface, which is the sound of the relay triggering impedance changes in the hardware. The original 610B hardware uses two gain stages, and to give you maximum control over both modeled gains in their sweet spots, we've added a final output control at the bottom, which lets you get the sound you want at the perfect level. One quick way to get started is to load one of the many presets that come with the 610. This can give you a good starting place, or you can start from scratch. Today, we'll start from the default setting and work with the input gain and level. Next, we'll put Apollo into gain stage mode, which lets you control all gain staging from Apollo's front panel knob. Press and hold the focus level knob on Apollo for two seconds. You'll notice an orange dot appears in the center of the input knob on the plugin window. And on Apollo, you'll see the channel number begins to flash. The LED ring on Apollo's front panel matches the color of the dot on the plugin control to let you know that you're now controlling the 610's plugin input. When you press the knob a second time, the dot moves to the big level knob and turns amber, and Apollo's knob now controls level. Pressing it again moves the control to the output knob, and the dot turns green. Now Apollo's knob controls the clean, uncolored output. Pressing the knob cycles through the three level controls, while pressing and holding it for two seconds exits gain stage mode. Now let's experiment with the 610B to find some cool sounds. Take the input gain up a bit and start driving the 610's front end up. This gives you more glow because you're driving the input amp harder. Now gain up the big level control a little more and see what that does. You'll start to find a nice tube style compression as you start to drive the preamp harder. Just make sure you compensate for the additional gain by turning down the final output knob at the bottom when needed. Use the on-off switch at the top of the UI to A-B your levels with the stock preamps. Now let's experiment with the EQ. The left side of the EQ is low and the right side is high. Both bands have three switchable frequency choices for you to experiment with. Try adding a little 10K and see how musical it sounds. On the guitar, it's really perfect and you can season to taste without overdoing it. Try boosting the low end and adding some warmth, or cutting the low end to clear out some mud. Lastly, you can use the impedance switch to affect the mic's frequency response. Different impedance loads have a dramatic impact on a mic's sound, and because Unison controls Apollo's physical mic preamps, you can get the full range of colors from your mics. The 610B defaults to 2 kilo ohms, but listen to what happens when you switch it to 500 ohms. It gets brighter and slightly louder because you're loading the mic less. Every mic will respond differently to impedance loads, so try it with a bunch of different mics and save your favorite presets for later. After you've experimented with the preamp and found a sound you're pleased with, try adding some compression in your record path. For example, try the included LA-2A Legacy plugin and start making it sound more like a record. We'll insert the LA-2A in a standard channel insert, which is below the preamp insert slot. Start by using the peak reduction control to cause the meter to go down. This is adding compression. Then use the gain control to restore the level to where it was. 
You can use the power button to bypass it completely so you can compare your sound. Now that we have the 610B and LA-2A dialed in, let's see how it sounds without them. Not too bad. And now with them. Wow, that's pretty cool, and it has a great vibe. Now you're ready to start recording in your DAW with Unison preamps and UAD processing to help you shape your sound and get the most out of your Apollo. Of course, every instrument and voice you record is going to be different and needs to be carefully shaped to sound good. And hopefully this video will get you going with Unison and real-time UAD processing.